Hey, have you been using pointers? How stupid of you, you should use smart pointers. Before I get into it, if you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, you should check out my video on pointers. You know, the regular kind for losers. Okay, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna start with auto pointers. Now, these have been removed from oh. C++ 17, but just in case we've ever seen it, I'll quickly define it. Every single time an auto pointer goes out of scope, the memory it points to is deallocated. Auto pointers are an exclusive ownership model. Now, let me elaborate what that actually means. Whenever one auto pointer points to one object and another auto pointer wants to point to the same object, the first one gives up ownership and becomes empty. And then now the second pointer owns that object. We can always guarantee that the memory will be deallocated this way. And we can also guarantee no deadlocks in this model. Deadlocks are essentially when two or more pointers with the same resource. Next up is unique pointers. These are designed to be a better alternative and a replacement for auto pointers. They're also an exclusive ownership model. However, the copy assignment works differently. Now I go over what a copy assignment operator is in my previous video that I mentioned before. However, the unique pointer goes beyond just a deep copy. It will ensure that the unique pointer remains exclusive by transferring ownership to the new pointer. Unique pointers can also support arrays. They will have a compile time error if an attempt of a copy of a unique pointer occurs. Unique pointers also have a move function. This function will transfer the ownership of the memory resource to another unique pointer, and then the original unique pointer will no longer own it. A shared pointer. This one has a reference counting ownership model, meaning every time that a shared pointer points to an object, a counter increments. There can be multiple pointers pointing to a different copy of the same object. And every time that one of these pointers gets deallocated, it decrements the count. The original object is only deleted when all the shared pointers are deleted or deallocated. So basically when the reference count becomes zero. Finally, a weak pointer. A weak pointer is a copy of the shared pointer, but it does not participate in the reference count. These pointers are very helpful to prevent cyclic dependencies. I really hope this video helped you out today. Please like and subscribe and good luck on your C++ development journey.